Did you feel that? Because I did. <laughs> yeah, I did. Both Kai and Tim have been on the range with this this afternoon and had a, a little play. This is um, one I've had personalised. The K3s and the K5s come with a side plate there. Each one we sell, we offer anyone, the end user, the purchaser, if he wants, we will actually have it engraved with his name or something similar on there if he wants to have a little bit of personalisation on the gun. They can also come with a grip cap, upgraded wood from grade 4 right the way through to grade 11 like um, the Merkel Helixes. Quick detachable mount system, self-cocking, adjustable trigger for the lightness, for the way to pull. With the K5s you can adjust the, the trigger pull length and the way to pull as well. Again, self-cocking, single shot, non-ejector, absolute brilliant little lightweight stalking rifle. I've used this one for four or five years now and I absolutely adore it. <laughs> it's different. But it's, uh, I'm gonna take another couple of shots. I think, I think every shot that's going, I'm, I'm getting more used to it and it's nice. This one is the K3, which is now being superseded by the K5. And the K5 has got a few um, modifications. It's got a uh, lighter, quieter, uh, safe to catch, and even uh, more adjustable six position trigger. Um, is available in a round barrel, a fluted barrel, or a octagonal barrel, and also has removable sights. So the weapon system has actually evolved over the last three years. It's but this one here, the K3, has been very successful in the UK. It's not a rifle for everybody, it's not a rifle for everyday use in, in a gamekeeping type scenario or somebody who's going to be tackling herds of deer. But if you want something for the row season, just for one buck or a stag on a hill, you won't find anything nicer or more pleasant to carry than something like a Kiplauf rifle, which has been very popular on the continent now for many, many years. And Merkel have mastered this and have been probably making them longer than anyone else on the continent. The price of a new K5, or the uh, few K3s you might find on the shelf, around the £3,500 mark up to £7,000, £8,000, depending on how much you want it embellished in the factory, um, hand engraved, if at all. Or if you want to upgrade your stock, they come with a grade 4, this is a grade 5, and they can go right the way up to grade 11. With the traditional guns, I've mentioned this many a times with people before, I like the idea of a rifle I can take apart. If I travel, which I do quite a lot, I can put it in a hold or take it to a hotel. I can look after it. Nobody knows I've got a rifle. I don't alarm anyone. Um, and for security reasons, nobody knows I'm carrying a firearm. And I just like the idea of the concept of having a travel companion that I can take anywhere I want. And that's what I have done with this, this gun here. So a lot of memories. A lot of Merkel memories. And the whole thing about hunting with traditional rifles, it is making memories. <laughs>